Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, or OCD, involves persistent uncontrollable thoughts or impulses, called obsessions, that individuals attempt to satisfy by performing physical or mental rituals, called compulsions. This typically plays out in a cycle where the inability to control persistent and irrational thoughts leads to distress and the need to create rituals in order to reduce the anxiety caused by those thoughts. Acting on these compulsions provides a temporary relief of the distress, but doesn't mitigate the obsessive thoughts and ultimately feeds back into the cycle. Obsessions and compulsions are typically linked, so obsessions involving fear of contamination and germs will often be followed by ritual compulsions such as constant hand washing or repetitive cleaning. OCD has a clear biological basis. A person is four times more likely to have OCD if they have a parent or sibling with the disorder. Research suggests that OCD is linked to overactivity in brain regions that detect problems, which leads to a persistent sense of worry or dread. This makes it harder for a person to distinguish between what is safe from what is dangerous. Both medication, as well as therapy that focuses on teaching new ways to cope with intrusive thoughts, can lead to relief from the symptoms of OCD. There are several disorders that share many similarities with obsessive compulsive disorder. Trichotillomania involves obsessively pulling out hair from one's scalp, eyebrows, or other parts of the body. Hoarding involves the inability to let go of physical possessions, including items that others see as worthless, like old newspapers or partially consumed food. Body dysmorphic disorder involves obsessive attention to perceived body flaws. But I also want to add that, like many other psychological disorders, it's not uncommon for people to display low-level obsessive and compulsive behaviors, like checking your phone or keeping your house relatively clean. That doesn't mean that these people have OCD. These thoughts and actions are only associated with the disorder when they interfere with normal functioning and reduce the quality of life.